with the men who lost the first round match. Unbelievably, Leviathan. Richard Lupkes is in that number. From Rushmore, Minnesota, USA, 6'4 and 145 kilograms. A true legend of the sport, a multiple world champion. As is the Manitoba Mastiff, Ryan Espy. From Manitoba, Canada, he is 34 years of age, 330 pounds, and a multiple Canadian and world super heavyweight champion. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 seven seven elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. My name is Richard Lupkes. I'm from Rushmore, Minnesota, and I'm here to pull Ryan Espy from Canada. Ryan Espy. I'm a seven-time super heavyweight Canadian champion. I'm a two-time super heavyweight world champion. I'm here to pull Richard Lucas. Ryan Espy is a giant of a man. Very, very powerful. I think he's into powerlifting. He's a very strong arm wrestler. And if I can't get outside of that hand somehow, it's going to be a long day for me. I think my advantage, if any, would be my hand strength. I've got a really good strong hand. My plan coming in here with him is to use my speed because I definitely feel I have a speed advantage over Richard. Plus, uh, during the setup, I'm going to try to actually play his hand out a little bit because I feel like I need to get a little bit of an advantage off the goal if I'm going to do anything with him. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Both these men lost their first round match here in the gathering. This is for pride. This is for a position amongst the eight. Leviathan, Richard Lupke stretching that 4XL yellow t-shirt to the max and he's also stretching the capabilities of the Manitoba Mastiff as as we watch that on the action replay Lupke hits the pad first blood USA the giant American from Rushmore, Minnesota has a focused look upon his face a more concerned but no less determined look in the face of the Mastiff. Ryan Espy, super experienced. Just heard his corner say he's gonna try to hit the straps, gonna try and let go, slip out, and get to the straps. Hopefully that will allow him to apply his pressure. Needs to, oh, look at that! Unbelievable elbow foul from Espy, but he couldn't slip out. That is incredible hand strength from Leviathan Richard Lupkes. Ryan Espy even lifted his elbow That's high into the air and he could not get out of the grip of the Leviathan Richard Lupkes. How strong is the hand of Lupkes? That is truly phenomenal. Truly ominous for the man in the black shirt. Ryan Espy must be thinking, what do I need to do to get this into the strap? Ref's grip. Lupkus, as we go into the referee's grip, singing around the hotel prior to this match oh that his God. strategy would be to make sure that Espy couldn't set his hook. Was unable to engage his shoulder press, which is one of Espy's strongest moves. Yes, I want to wrap Referee will now take control of the grip. He will set the grip. It's now the referee's grip. And if either athlete moves, they will receive a foul. It's Keith Taylor, massive hit. And it's Leviathan Richard Lupkes moves to two pins. The man from the United States of America looks in crushing, dominant form. The first hit comes in from Richard. Um, you ever tried pulling against an oak tree? No, I haven't. Open your palm. 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 Open your palm.
I told him, Mastiff, Ryan SP, Ryan needs something. As he tries to break out of that giant hand, you can see him reposition no, no. higher no, no. up the thumb no. and being told immediately by Taylor to no, that's come down on the that. thumb. SP, strategy no, no. is becoming no, no. more clear, needs to try and Go. defeat the hand and wrist of Lupkis, but not tonight, not in Las Vegas. Wow, Richard Lupkis is on an absolute demolition mission. He drives that to the pad. He stares straight into the soul of Ryan Espy. Keep that hand fresh. Keep that hand fresh all the time. You just keep doing exactly. Okay, how many more to go here? Yeah. Turn around, Pony. Come over here. Get the Bob your Brown of Team TV. USA. Three direction to Richard Lupkus. Ryan Espy tries to focus on some kind of strategy. No. Lupkus is dominant at this stage. Lost his first round match to the reigning super heavyweight champion of the world, No Limits, Devon Larratt, who will go into tonight's main event. He is through and unbeaten. He will face Tim, the big dog, Bresnan. At the table, Richard, the Leviathan, Lupkis, is demonstrating his power to awesome effect. Ryan Espy is being absolutely dominated. At the top of the MGM ground, round two of the gathering, the eight best super heavyweight arm wrestlers on the planet in one place at one time. Look at the size of Richard Lupka's forearm. It was the same circumference as Bob Brown's head. That's truly ridiculous. Spot the customer from the big shirt shop. Yes, Lupka stretching a 4XL t-shirt there. Don't get this way. Oh, Don't move there. Go. Massive individual Lupka. Oh, pulls the top roll, looks at SP playing, and SP tries to rotate, but has nothing at all. And Lupka just presses to the pad. Leviathan Richard Lupka incredible power. He actually gets the running foul there, but talk about uh, out of the frying pan into the fire. Side pressure a little early from Lucas. Go! Oh, sets it again, looks at Espy. He's in cruise control. He rolls to the pad, and it's five for the giant from Rushmore, Minnesota. Ryan Espy tries to set that hook. But look at that from Lucas. He stares straight at the Canadian, then hammers him to the touch pad without breaking a sweat. You got a feel for Ryan Espy as he stares above the Las Vegas Strip. What is the answer to the giant puzzle that he has been set here in round two of the gathering? Immaterial now, he's five down. But just for pride alone. Retirement home's gonna be pissed because I'm not there yet. They locked the door at six, you know. Leviathan Richard looks 54 years of age. Uh, still going build, strong, isn't he? Muscular thumb there. Look at that gigantic forearm. He's still trying to attack your hand, Reggie. He's still going to attack your hand. About 5% body He's fat. attacking it all day. And on a man at 6'4 and 145 kilos, that is truly phenomenal. He's got the body fat of a tooth. Ryan Espy. Nice. Much younger man. Just as big. <laughs> Whether or not his first round Shake battle it out. It out. against the monster Michael Todd, That's the man that put him into the B side, put him into the losers bracket Give it all you got. of this eight man Grand Prix Fire for the up, super man. heavyweight world title. To try and oh, nice. claim that title from the awesome Canadian, no limits, Devon Larratt. Oh, better from SP, but he can't contain it and he's no post. And the theme of tonight in Las Vegas. <laughs> It's about the man in the yellow shirt. Look at that on the replay. It was a better hit from Espy, but he almost popped off the back. He had no friction, no base. And as soon as he let up, he was hammered to the pad by the American. Look at the forearm on Leviathan. Richard looked his 6 0 whitewash for the man in the loser's bracket of the gathering. I really didn't know what to expect with Ryan. Uh, I've watched him pull other people, and uh, I know when he gets into a hook and a press, he is really unstoppable. I needed to keep his uh, hand control and stay outside with him. No. 
I think my hand control was uh, probably playing with his mind. Uh, he tried, I think he tried to top roll me at one point, and I just wouldn't even let him slip. You know, I mean, uh, I had a really good hold on his hand.